How's it going guys? I've got it here, and um, I'm coming to you guys with a new kind of video, and uh, this is War Stories. Um, I know a few YouTubers already do this, and I'm not trying to copy any of them, but um, basically in this video, <laughs> it's my first time ever flying a uh, helicopter in Battlefield 3. Um, so it is terrible. Like, oh my gosh, I am so bad. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video, enjoy this terrible, terrible helicopter attempts. I do okay in my... Uh, when I in my assault class, there was not many people to take out as a in my sniper class, so it was kind of difficult sniping today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of video. Um, I'll see you guys in the video, and I hope you enjoy. I got him, don't worry. So our first soldier that we're gonna be looking at and uh, basically talking about. His name is Simo Haya. I probably am saying that wrong. It's spelled S-I-M-O-H-A-Y-H-A. -H -H -A. So it's kind of a difficult name. Uh, but basically, he was a, he had a fairly boring life when he grew up in Finland. He uh, served him with one mandatory year. I think they have that still. I'm not sure. Um, I know in Israel that they have one mandatory year of uh, military. But all, anyways, let's get back to it. He, uh, after he left the military, he became a farmer. And then uh, in 1939, the Soviet Union went to invade his country. So, like any man, he wanted to go and defend it. So, since the majority of the fighting took for faced place in forest, <laughs> he, st he thought that the best way to stop it was just go to his near, like the forest in his backyard, grab a trusty rifle, a couple cans of food, and sit in a tree all day shooting Russians in six feet of snow. And the temperatures there were 20 to 40 degrees below zero, which is quite insane where I'm from. Our temperatures range from 20 to 40 degrees above zero in normal winter times. <laughs> and that's extremely cold for me. But, of course, when the Russians heard that there was some weird guy sitting in the forest with his rifle killing all of them, all their fellow men, they thought it would be a good idea to go and take him out because everyone was scared of this one guy sitting in the forest who has taken out several Russians. So because they were so scared of him, the account decided to give him a name, and his name was the White Death. And because of his that was his name is that because of his uh, white camouflage outfit that he was wearing. <clears throat> he wore this to be because the environment was snow and forest, so he blended in very nicely. And uh, they actually mounted like whole missions to kill the one guy. So they started sending out task forces to find Haya and take him out. And he ended up killing them all. They started, uh, then they got tired of him killing them all of them, so they, uh, individually, so they sent out a team of counter snipers. And counter snipers are basically snipers that kill other snipers. So basically, they're trained to take out other snipers. And he was a sniper. So they were pretty prepared for Haya. And um, of course, he killed them all too. And over the course of 100 days, Haya killed 542 people with his rifle. He still got another 150 with his SMG. And his credited kill count went up to 705. Now, that is ridiculous. That's a lot of terribleness. And um, I don't really contone killing people. But the, just 705. That's ridiculous. Since everyone like either died or was too scared to go fight him, they ended up just carpet bombing everywhere that he thought he was. And um, they actually got one location on where he was. And he didn't actually die from a carpet bomb. He ended up getting his jacket tore up by it. So, yeah, what the heck? They can't even kill him with carpet bombs. So, in uh, March 6, 1940, some lucky guy got a headshot on him with an exploding bullet. So, he ended up getting his half, half of his head blown off because of an exploding bullet. Um, back in, like, ten, five years ago... I used to play Call of Duty on a, on a DSi XL, and I would use a, um, a crossbow, and that used exploding bullets. And just from experience, from me, to, from 12-year-old me playing Call of Duty on a DSi, uh, exploding bullets are freaking crazy, and it only tore off half of his head, which is, I, he must have, like, nicked his ear or something. It's ridiculous. So, because half of his head, like, because he developed half of his head missing syndrome, he had find the white death had finally been stopped and he only been stopped for about a week because in spite of coming down with a nasty case of shot in the face syndrome he was still very much alive he regained consciousness on march 13th the very day the war ended 
What the heck? I can't even get 705 kills, like, uh, my lifetime in Battlefield 3. How does he do this in 100 days in real life? So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about how, like, the best Hollywood actor could come up with was Bob Lee Swagger, a.k.a. Mark Wahlberg from the movie Shooter. In Shooter, Mark Wahlberg plays a reclusive, worn-out ex-sniper trying to escape the ghosts of his past. Bob Lee is called by the FBI who wants to know if he hypothetically wanted to murder, let's say, the president. So how would he do, hypothetically <laughs> do that? He claims that he's the best there is. And because of the training with long-distance shooting, he successfully killed 70 men in the desert with one of these. And this doesn't compare at all because this is a ginormous sniper rifle meant to be amazing at long ranges with a sweet scope. And Haya was using some old hunting rifle, or he called it his trusty rifle, which eh, it, it, I, I don't really think that's quite amazing. So he killed over 10 times as many men and uh, over the most basic like military training. And um, he did it in 40 degree bl uh, below zero weather. And it's just ridiculous. The, the, just what the heck? So the next guy we're going to be uh, talking about is... Yogendra Singh Dhyahadav. Uh, what the crap name? I, I'm terrible with names. But he was a member of the Indian Grenadier Battalion. Um, and during a conflict with Pakistan in 1999, hey, I was one of them, their mission was to climb Tiger Hill, which is actually a huge mountain, and neutralize three enemy bunkers at the top. <clears throat> so he has to climb Tiger Hill, the ginormous mountain, and he has to eliminate three enemy bunkers, well, with his team. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, because he had to climb this giant mountain, that meant climbing up a sheer 100-foot face of cliff of solid ice. Since they didn't want to all climb up at one time with ice axes, they decided they'd send one guy up, and he'd fasten the, fasten the ropes to the cliff as he went. So everyone else climb, could climb up the sissy way, and Yadav became awesome, and he volunteered. So halfway up the icy cliff of doom, enemies stationed on an adjacent mountain open fire shooting him with an RPG. So then spraying assault rifle all over the assault rifle shots all over the cliff, half his squad was killed. Fantastic! So now they're climbing up this giant mountain of ice and half their squad is now dead. So uh, since everyone died, Yadav in spite of being shot three times, he kept climbing like a bad ace. And when he reached the top uh, one of the target bunkers opened fire on him with m mounted machine guns. So Yedov ran toward the hail of bullets, pitched a grenade through the window, and killed everyone inside. By this point, the second bunker had a clear shot and opened fire on him. So he ran at them, taking bullets while he did. And he killed all the men inside with his bare hands. <laughs> what? So... Meanwhile, the remainder of his squad was standing at the bottom of the hill, staring at him like, Dude, bro, what the- what- what you doing, man? What- what are you- what are you smoking, bro? So, holy heck, you just killed two bunkers. And one of those bunkers, he killed all of them with his bare hands. So, for his amazingness and sheer ballsiness, he was awarded Param Vir Chakra, India's highest, rarest military award. Unlike the Medal of Honor, the Param Vir Chakra is only given to the rarest of the ha rare gallantry, which is beyond the call of duty, and which is normal life, and it is considered impossible to do. So, in order to get this, you have to break the laws of reality just to be eligible to get it. So, it has only been awarded 21 times. I'm not sure if that number is still correct, but two-thirds of the people who earned it died in the process. It was initially reported that Yadav died in, in the process as well. But it turns out they just mistook him for someone last bad ace. And they figured no real human being could survive a broken leg, shattered arm, and 10 to 15 fresh bullets in one sitting. So, what the heck? It doesn't even compare to Die Hard because, like, what? I don't even get it. This, how, these people are insane when it comes to fighting and I could never measure up to taking any of them on <laughs> I've been deer hunting and I've used rifles and oh my gosh it's not even easy to kill a standing deer how do you kill 705 people with a freaking crap rifle with no scope on it 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of episode. Again, I'm not trying to copy any other YouTubers. Um, I hope you enjoy the gameplay as well. It didn't too too amazing, but I still did. <clears throat> As I'd say, decent. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Epic reality out. And um, don't go killing people because I made a video on it. I wouldn't recommend that. You're probably going to go to jail for the rest of your life. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Cause fame is for assholes.